you guys. That song was called um, Mental Health by Quiet Riot, and it's off of um, this album called Mental Health um, uh, in 1983. Really good album, actually. That's um, probably one of my favorites, and it's just one of those albums that's like, that's, you know, they're not very well known, but they're like, you know, I have this one album that's like, every song in here is amazing, you know. Um, most of you probably know on the one song, uh, Come On Feel The Noise, but a lot of people don't know that it's actually not their song. I mean, some people do, obviously, but, like, uh, that's actually not their song. It's by a, um, a British band called Slade. Um, it, it was, like, a, a kind of shock rock band, like, in the 70s and stuff, and um, it was funny because that's, like, one of the most popular songs, but uh, they actually did not want anything to do with that song because they didn't like Slade. But, um... Their producer, like, when they first met him, he said that he would, um, get him a contract, and the thing was they had to record four songs, and one of them had to be Colin Field and Noise, which they were pissed about that, but they were just like, I mean, you know, we gotta do this, but we want the actual deal, so they had to record it, and, like, good thing they did, because it's, like, one of the greatest, uh, you know, covers ever, I think. I mean, like, Slade's version is pretty good, but, like, Quiet Ride's version is probably... Um, the like the version is probably one of the songs like as a cover that I like the cover more than the original, which is very rare with me because normally if there's ever a cover of a song, I most likely like the um original better. But that's just me. I don't really like when people say that the cover is better, but with that band, it's I I can make an exception. Um. This week I'm talking about Green Day because, like, you guys have probably heard this a while ago or whatever, but I'm just talking about this now. Um, something happened. Um, at the uh, like, you guys know about the iHeart uh, Music or iHeart Radio Music Fest or whatever. Um, that went on in Las Vegas a few weeks ago. I'm sorry, it's my sister. <laughs> uh, went on in Las Vegas a few weeks ago and. Green Day's uh, performance was like cut short for something or whatever and Billy Joe got like really pissed off and then like a little bit later um, they were just like oh yeah they didn't do anything and they were just like being kind of like suck ups and stuff like that which was like really weird like I don't understand like I guess like their manager or whatever told them to like say that or whatever but it's not really a Green Day type thing to do but um yeah Billy Joe like kind of freaked out at first and stuff and he's like in rehab now so People say it was, like, long overdue, and I don't really know because I don't follow Green Day all that much, but I like them. I'm actually seeing them in January. It's going to be really cool. I'm, like, really excited for that, but, um, yeah, you guys, um, I uh, think they're putting out a new album really soon. I forget exactly what it's called. They just put out a live one a little bit ago, um, but they, they haven't released the, uh, actual studio album since 2009 when they uh released that one what was it called um it, it was the one with 21 guns on it uh 21st century breakdown that's what it was called but um yeah they haven't released an album since 2009 so it's gonna be really cool to release a new album and uh hopefully billy joe gets out of rehab soon i mean i know he needs it but hopefully he's not in there for long especially since i'm going to see them live it's gonna be like really cool with my aunt or whatever um this week i'm gonna be talking about uh for, well for underrated albums I'm going to be doing, um, I'm going to be reviewing, uh, old Van Halen album, um, that a lot of people kind of overlook. It's the one right before 1984, which is, like, one of their big ones. I mean, like, I think their first album and 1984 are their two biggest albums, and I think I can make an exception with, uh, Women and Children First, because that's pretty big, too, but no one really talks about Diver Down, uh, which is the album I'm about to show you. Hang on, I'll lift it over here. This is the cover of Diver Down. It's just like, it's literally just red with a huge white stripe across it. And I'm going to play you the uh, first track. It's actually by Ray Davies of the Kinks. So just give me a second to get to that and I'll play it for you guys.
Like I said, that song was called uh, Where Have All the Good Times Gone, which is Van Halen's version of it. It's off of Diver Down. Um, let's see. Oh, there's the paper. Uh, I'm going to try and wrap this video up like quickly today. Um, so I'm just going to get to the birthdays really quickly. Uh, I'll start off where I ended it last week. Uh, so on the 19th, Peter Tosh, if he was still alive, uh, from Bob Marley and the Whalers or whatever, uh, he would he be 68. On the 20th, Tom Petty turned 62. On the 23rd, Wurzel from Motorhead, he would have been 63 if he was still alive. And Weird Al would be fi it, well, is 53. Uh, on the 24th, the Big Bobber would have been 82. And um, Bill Wyman from the Rolling Stones turned 76. On the 25th, uh, John Anderson from Yes uh, turned 68. Glenn Tipton from Judas Priest turned 65. And Chad Smith from Red Hot Chili Peppers turned 57. Um, you know, guys, like I say, like every video, um, just like leave comments or whatever and tell me what band you want me to uh, talk about. And uh, hopefully, you know, you, got, you guys do leave comments and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, I'll see, I'll see you guys later. Bye.